Hi guys, Fire Plays here, and welcome or welcome back to another YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be doing another rebuild. All right, guys. So these rebuilds are going to be coming out a lot um, and consistently because I know that a lot of you guys want to see the teams that you guys think should have a rebuild. I'm going to try and get around to as many teams as I possibly can. Whether it be trying to rebuild them or making them the best team in the competition, they'll be one of them too. Um, so I know there's a big list of teams. If your team, if you want a team that hasn't been set, it will go to the back of the line because the line will probably be getting bigger. Uh, today I'm doing the Adelaide Crows, so yeah. Um, let me know if teams. I will try my best to get around to them eventually. So yeah, today I'm going to be doing the Adelaide Crows, my favourite team. For the rebuild um so yeah this is very exciting now i'm going to put the onto legend the gameplay for auto mystify rebuilds so if you don't know how rebuild works if you haven't seen a rebuild before uh what i do is i just do a season come in do a season uh do a trade period and then do another season all right guys so, I know what my plan is for the Crows. I don't know how their last ladder season position is 19th, though. Uh, but, yep. Yeah, I know my plan for the Crows, what I'm going to do in the trade period. So, yeah, hopefully it can execute. We get smashed straight away. That's the bad thing. We get smashed, which is a shame. So, I know what I aim to do with players and everything like that. Um, oh, we get a shock win over the Cats in round one. That is a nice start, though. Um, now, before I do anything, I just do want to get into this inbox. Uh, not the inbox. Oh, hang on. Wait, I have to do a sponsorship. Um, safe. Yeah, safe is fair. So, I've been forgetting the, uh, the markets again, but look, that's all right. The mar I don't really worry about the market. So, scouts, 10 scouts, 10 negotiators. That's what we're going to roll with this season. Uh, what does the inbox actually say, though? Marketing. The club has been forced to move on. Signing is not to deal without your input. I mean, I would have chosen safe anyway. Only behalf we've decided to accept the deal is safe. Yeah, that's fair. Um, now what we're going to do is we are going to just keep on going with the simulation. Uh, just going to keep on going. We beat the Swans at the MCG, at uh, the SCG. It's a good start. We, do we defeat the Suns? Yes, we do at the Adelaide. We're going well. Going well so far. Both of my rebuilds, uh, the North one did actually work quite well. Um, we beat North away from home as well. That's a good start. We're going well. Um, Adelaide Oval, we, def we smashed the Dockers. That is really nice. We're going really well. Um, can we beat the Hawks? Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't so sure about this one. Um, to be completely honest, I just didn't think we had the I just didn't think we had the oomph to beat the Hawks. But we beat the Giants at home. That is a good win for us. Uh, surely I don't think we'll beat Port. Yeah, I wasn't very confident on that one. I don't think anyone was really. To be completely honest, um, surely we'll get past West Coast though. No. Nah. I mean again, another one that you can't be confident on. Um So yeah. What else have we got? Melbourne, this will be tough. A one point win, just like what we did this year. <gasps> Taylor Walker gets a five goal bag. See, man, the match. Nice. That was a nice win. A really nice win, a one point win. <laughs> they're always the, um, they're always the interesting, always the interesting ones. Come on. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we beat the Tigers. Now that's shown that we're a good team this season. Where, where, where are we? We're top. Wow, wow, wow. This does not normally happen in my rebuilds. Um, so it's going well. I would say at least. A one point win. We've got two one point wins now. That is insane. We are going really well. We have our buy. We're all good. Uh, we have Carlton. Top spot's been taken away from us, unfortunately. But yeah, we win it. We get back. We re are we coming back. We want that top spot. We are back up in top spot. Do we have to defeat the Lions? That was going to be a tough one. I knew it. We, we got the job done, however, uh, which is nice. What about... We beat Essendon at Marvel as well. Probably get another surprise. But look, going well now. Surely we can easily beat West... Yeah, easily beat West Coast at Adelaide Oval. That one was always going to happen. That one was always going to happen. 
dogs at Mars. I knew we weren't going to win there. Um, something told me we just weren't going to win down there. Have Hawthorne. We beat Hawthorne. I think that one was uh, pretty expected. There. Probably won't beat Port again. Oh gosh, that's a low scoring showdown. I think we've got like 4 9, which is never impressive if you ask me. Um, we do beat the D's. I'm going to finish things off well. We get over north. There we go, guys. We did a really good job. Um, so we are uh, second. We finished second. Uh, power finished top somehow. Oh, they just did a little bit better than us. I think it might have been percentage that caught us out. It's all right. We get the win over the Hawks. Another one-point win. Wow, we're going really well with these one-point wins. Uh, now, straight through to prelim. That's pretty good as well. We have the power, I'll tell you. I'll tell you this, this is, we're not going to win this prelim. I told you, I don't want to be down, but I knew we weren't going to win the prelim. <laughs> it's up against Port. It's tough to beat Port, especially when you Crows. The Cats go on to win it. I think that one was expected. Uh, Riley Fieldthorpe is the rising star. Lachlan Murphy's our best and fairest. Callum Sinclair wins the Brownlow. Patton wins the Coleman. That is not really realistic. Riley Field thought they were in the Rising Star and Lachlan Murphy, Bess and Ferris does sound reasonably all right. Everything else, no, not really. Um, to finish third, of course, we're going to have a look at our offers, but of course we're going back with the Adelaide Crows to get this trade period underway. So first of all, we're just going to go through the offers. We're going to have a look at our messages. Uh, so we have a trade offer from the Brisbane Lions. 31 and 67... 34 and 52. Okay, interesting, but no. Dogs, 16 and 70. Look, um, nope. No, 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 I do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. Delete. Hawthorne, uh, 33, 69, 34 and 52. No. West Coast, Luke Peddler. No. Essen and Darcy Fogarty. No. So n there was none, no trades there that stood out. How many trades are we going to have? 71 remaining, so we have plenty of time. Got to go through the contracts first, though. We've got to have a look at who is expired. But Scollin, McCasey, Murphy, Connor, Seedsman, Straw, Tarly, Walker. That's it. So because we don't have a lot of money, we've only got to get these important people back. Walker, back. We don't need butts. We don't need Gollum. We don't need McCasey. We need Murphy, though. Murphy, I reckon, could be a big part of the Adelaide Crows moving forward. Uh, Talia and Seedsman are the only t other two that we're at, that we actually need. Everyone else can be traded away. It, I could actually even make value out of Talia um, if I want to. So we'll have a look. I don't need Strawn. Don't need O'Connor. Well, O'Connor might be good to keep. Butts and O'Connor could be on the keep list. In fact, I'll sign O'Connor. And I'll sign Butts. That's it, though. Not going to sign any more people. Um, but you can get rid of Strawn, McCasey and Gollum. They're not really... They're not going to be a huge part of the club's success, but free agency is going to be something that I do need to go through. Again, um... Aaron Vandenberg from the Demons. Uh, Lemons from the Suns. Luke McDonald from the Kangas. I reckon he could make an impact here at the Adelaide Crows. Um, I'm happy to sign him on a five-year deal. Welcome, Luke McDonald. Now, got to be really careful with how we spend the rest of this money. Burgoyne is cheap. Mumford is cheap. Ling Jong, Reed, Lemons. We have to make sure that we keep it under 299,000. Harbrow. Reed, Stanley, Geary, Wallace, geez, there's lots of people here. Nay Smith. Uh, who else is here though? Tim O'Brien from the Hawks. He could be a handy pickup. Hartlett, Jetta, Hearn, Kennedy. Is part is like is there someone like yeah Libba? He could be good. Trent Dumont, Salem. Salem's a good pickup as well. Soldo, Edwards, Tarrant. Zebel would be a good pickup. Wardrich. Zorko, Sheed, 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 that's a good pick up, Ross, Tabernar, Parker, but Sheed, Sheed and Parker, they can come in and fill, even Kelly, K 
Kelly. All right, I got I got my targets. I know the three players I'm going after. So now I need to get rid of the, all these guys. So New Church, not really needed. Ballas, not really needed. We're gonna go Nick Murray. I'm gonna keep him. Josh Royal McCasey. I want to try and keep the players that we actually have right now. We'll try and go realistically like that. Uh, McAdam, yep. Hinge. I'm not really going to plan to use Hinge. Uh, we can actually get some nice picks in return. What if they pick nine? DWS are insulted. We need we need to approach a team that's going to have lots of picks for us. North. They've got 19. Perfect. 37. Perfect. What if we did that, but then we take out Hinge and Davis? North are insulted. Bring in Ben Davis again. Let's see about that. North Melbourne resulted. Right, well then we'll have to bring in the other player that we were gonna give up, which was Mitchell Hinge. Let's see what the reason the, the Ruse are not happy with that. And look, fair enough. Probably only one pick's worth it. Like what if we go after Port's round like first round pick? Richmond, do they have like a second round pick which might be useful? Third round pick? Richmond are thrilled. All right. So they, I know that they like third round. So we'll go fourth round and we'll take a fifth round pick. And a sixth round pick? Am I asking too much? No, I'll do that. I'll do that. All right, first trade done with the Tigers. Again, we're going to go back to the Saints. We want, again, we want to get those. We want to get the picks in the door. We want to get 24 and 42. Uh, I'm not going to go for a huge draft hand again. Just a reasonable sized one that will actually be, uh, yeah, useful. So I'm going to get rid of Gollant and Kieran Strawn. They might want them guys for 24 and 42s and Kilda are almost satisfied. I don't like having pick 106. So what if I just gave you like pick 106 as well out the window? Oh, I don't want to give up all of my, I don't really want to give up my Casey though for that. I really just don't know if that's fair. So Kilda are now thrilled. We don't really have another good pick. Gonna have to be another club. Sydney, surely they've got good picks. Not really them either. West Coast. I'm looking for those mid picks, like anywhere from, yeah, like I really want dogs. I want clubs with multiple mid round picks though. Like what about this? But then we don't give up that pick. Bulldogs are thrilled. Hmm. I mean, look, we are getting value, but I'll have a look here. Is there any team that's got better picks? Maybe the Giants. They have earlier picks, which is kind of what we need. We can get five picks ahead if we choose the Giants, which is probably better. That's probably better. Oh yeah, that, they need to go to the Giants. That might be better. Giants are still thrilled. We have to get up this order in many ways. No, they're too late in the order. Are they earlier than the Giants? They're one earlier. They're later. They're earlier. They are way earlier, the Bombers. The Bombers are way earlier. So we remember the Bombers. We remember the Bombers. Frio, no. We've got to remember the Bombers. We've got to remember the Bombers. Have to remember the Bombers. In fact, the thing is going to be the Bombers. In fact, it will be the Bombers, I reckon. 23. Ooh, that was almost better than the Bombers. Yeah, we're going to go with the Bombers. We're going to go with the Bombers. Bombers have 22. 40. Which means we're getting five picks ahead from what we normally would. 58. And 76. That's better than this. That's better than this. That's better. We'll, we'll, I'll accept. Yep, the Bombers are satisfied. I'm satisfied as well. Frio, they've got pick 28. I really want to get my hands on pick 28 um, as well. Who could be a fair? Um, Tyson Stengel. I'm going to give up Tyson Stengel for someone. Himmelberg and Himmelberg also. Them two can go. I think I'll give up Stengel for 28. Deal. 
And then we can try and get 18 in the door. I know that'll be tough. But I'll give up Himmelberg for 18. Himmelberg for 18. Feel like I'm almost satisfied. Well then what if we just gave you our our last round pick of 106? That's almost satisfied. Well I can't really give you much more. I can give you 92. Nah, that's not gonna convince him. Alright, it has to be Himmelberg and it has to be someone else who I'm not gonna play. Who won't I be playing? Oh, Luke Brown. He can go out the door. There's some people here who can actually go out the door. Here. But I may not I may not want them to go out the door, but I could try and get them out of the door. Billy Frampton is a possibility. Cats are just satisfied. Like, can I can I perhaps just have like even if it's just pick 72? Oh. I reckon I'm gonna go after another team. Pick 12. Gold Coast New Can we just try and slip up the order just a little bit more? Like pick 15. Pick five will be too early. Pick 19. If someone's accepting pick 18. Pick 17. There we go. Can we get up the order? Oh. All right. I reckon we'll go to Geelong. I reckon we'll go to Geelong and I will take pick 18. There we go. Now it's time to get some players in the door. Now I know that Sydney had some pretty good players that I would love to get here. Franklin, Parker. Well, actually, hang on. We've got a little bit of money. We can actually go now to the free agency again. I don't think we're gonna have to make trades. I don't think we're gonna have to make too many trades here. Couple of players that I want. Midfielder. First one, Kelly. Kelly comes in the door. Such a good deal. Five year deal, welcome Josh Kelly. Second player that's gonna come in the door. There's two that I wanna get in the door. They're, they're probably, I'm gonna get them both anyway. Uh, they are Dom Sheed. Where's the other one? Dom Sheed. Why is this person not here? Dom Sheed and Luke Parker. I think Luke Parker's the better option first. Get him here on a five year deal. And then I can, I reckon I can just squeeze in Dom Sheed. Come on, let's negotiate contract. Let's get you here for five. All right, there we go, we have Dom Sheed. Now we're gonna do a couple more player trades for picks as well, um, cause we're down negative 88,000, so McAdam, uh, who's getting a little bit older now, is going to depart the footy club. And I feel like I should make it fair that he can actually leave with McPherson. We're going to get a pick in the door. We'll try for pick 24. No, nah, we'll go. Let's go around to every club. We'll try for pick 25. Yep, there we go. Now we're going to try and get some players, as I say. I really want to get, like, someone like a Lockie Neal type would be incredible. So we could get Lockie Neal here, but who have we got here? We can give up Daniel Talia. This is gonna, if, if we if we make this trade with the Lions, it's gonna be a big trade. But my question is, are there better players that I could actually try and go for? Tex, Ryan, Seedsman, Kelly. No, I'm not gonna get Neal. I wanna get a good young player. Like Sammy Walsh, she'll be an absolute gun. So, I do know that I do wanna look at this draft again. I know Daniel Talia is on my list that I can actually get rid of. Daniel Talia can go, you can go to Carlton Talia. And I can send pick 16 over if they give me Sam Walsh. Damn it. Who else could I look to get this like just as good, no, not Grundy. I'm probably gonna be looking for like an 85 rated player now, because I know Tali is not really that good, like an 85, Guthrie. I mean, I could go for Parrish, I could go for Rao, in fact. Rao, Matt Rao, he's only rated an 82. And then if I try and get his friend, Nora Anderson over here, I think that's only fair. I think that's only fair that I bring them both over. For 
I'll take pick 16 out and then they can have like a player just a player like Josh Worrell just Josh Worrell who won't be needed oh they're not going to accept not going to accept Come on, surely there's like just a little bit of room. Like, what if I gave you like pick 28? Suns don't think this is realistic. Is there a way that I can like do a counter offer? Nah. All right, well, then if I send over another reasonable player, uh, like Ronan O'Connor, Suns don't think this is realistic. And then chuck in like a pick 38. I still don't think this is realistic. I'll, I'll put someone else in then. Nicholas Murray. Who else can I put in then? I mean, look, I'll probably do this and then it will all end up being worthless anyway. All right, let's, let's, let's not do that. Let's go over to the Bombers. I know they've got some good players over there. Tipper. Got some Heppel. Shoe or shoe would be a gun to get. Who else could be good? Guelphie. Nick Cox would be good. Nick Hine, the speed machine. Goodwill. I'm just going to look at their lower players, which they'll barely play, which I might be able to get like a little bit of a sniff in at. Oh, well, I've already traded with the Bombers. It's the thing. I don't know. I, th I feel like I want to get one big gun player. Might come from Sydney. Oh, Tom Papley. Tom Papley. Let's get Tom Papley here. Let's try and get Tom Papley over here then. We have a big list of draft picks. Again. Which I like. Tarly. We'll try Tarly for Papley. This one's almost satisfied. Take, take my first round pick. Take my third. Take another third round pick. We're gonna we're gonna get this deal done. Take like Jordan Butts. Oh damn it. We're getting close. Take Nicholas Murray. Oh, well yeah, right. Well, um who else? We've got plenty of round two picks. Take my round six pick. Damn it. Take a round two pick. No, oh this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to come up with a good player. Can't be Barry, can't be Hately, can't be these guys. Can't can't really be any of these guys. Could be Kelly, nah, can't be Kelly. It's gonna have to be one of these guys down here. So the people on the chopping block are ah, Nicholas Murray, Josh Royal, Lachlan Scholl, Jordan Butts, Ned McHenry, Harry Schoenberg, Will Hamill, Ronan O'Connor, I'm not gonna use him. Oh, it won't be Papley, but it could be. Norton. Dogs are insulted by that. Man. Bailey Smith. Dogs don't want to give up any of their good plays. Who else could I go for? Someone that's young. I want I want a young player. Hmm. It's not gonna be from the dogs. Then it'll have to be Charlie Cameron, Harris Andrews is young. Jared Lyons isn't, Danaher's not really, McCluggage, Rayner, Berry's young, Berry's young. I don't know, I just want to get that big player. Like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like that player that goes, oh my gosh, what a pickup. What a pickup. Harry Mackay could just be that man to come in and kick goals for the Adelaide Football Club. I'm going to try and just try and take out picks. Welcome, Harry Mackay. He's that X-Factor player, the player we needed. Perfect. Crisp is the last player I'm going to go after. I like him. I like him a lot. He's 27. We can get him here in a long-term deal. But I've got a lot of midfielders. Look at this. Kelly, Parker, Sloan, Laird, Crouch, Lynch. Well, Lynch is in a midfield. I've got Brody Smith, Dom Sheed, Tex, O'Brien, Mackay, Seismet, Kelly. Kelly. And a mid. 
Kellyan seeds might be worth crisp. Nah. All right, I don't think I'm going to go after any more. If, like, there's another brace or Chera, is he going to be cheap here? Yeah, Chera's cheap. Chera's cheap. There's been talks that he could actually be moving. I'll do Chera for... Chera for Seedsman? No, nah, free or so I didn't think they'd do that. All right, well, I think that's going to be enough there. For that, I reckon I'll, I'll save that as it is. And I reckon I'll advance to the draft. I'll just go and check that one trade that's remaining. Western Bulldog, 16.52. No, I'll delete that. All right, guys, we're gonna go to the draft. It's gonna be very interesting. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go through free agency. All right, guys, I think delisted free agency might be a good bet. Might be a good bet. Right, who have we got here? Who's the best rated player? Robbie Gray, interesting. In fact, I don't think I'll get anyone. I'm just gonna have a little look. I know this will make the episode go on for a little while, or the rebuild, should I say, but it's worth a crack. Trent Rivers. Trent Rivers, he's worth, to, he's worth a pick up. We like to develop these young players here. So Trent Rivers is the perfect player. Tracy Parks, Davies Fife, uh, Jarvis. Um, well, now may as well make this worthy. Go to um, go to the draft. We've got a big draft hand again, uh, just like what we did in the north. Our first pick is pick 16. Uh, we're going to look for the best potential in the draft. That's what gets you a long, long, long way. Um, we have to go for these best guys. And, well, key defenders. He can come in and fill a big role. Can Heathcote. So, we'll bring him in. Um, the next pick, I want to have a really... I want to have another defender, hopefully, or a ruck to come in. Um, oh, Warple. That's actually a pretty good pickup. Who's this guy? A ruck, McKinnon. S. Warple. He's got a pretty good chance of being a gun player. But do I go with McKinnon? Nah, I go with Warple. I'll go with Warple. Next pick will be McKinnon. McKinnon will be picked up with this pick if he's still here. Uh, I do like Mc McQuinnon. So where's he gone? McQuinnon. Oh, who's this guy? Barrack. Nah, I'll, I'll have to pick up McKinnon. McKinnon is the better man there. Next pick. Again, a big pick. Have to use it well. I'm gonna go right down to the end again. McQueen, a general forward. Do we have general forwards? No, we don't. So he's actually the perfect pickup. Another good pickup. Right, we've picked. I reckon we've done a pretty good job with the draft. A Vince Ruck, key defender. It's always good to have a backup key defender, but I can imagine Ferrara running through the mid or Bowen. Nah, you know what? I reckon because there's no other mid in there, I'll go for El Ferrar. Um, gonna go with the potential. Gonna go right up. A Vince is again another good pickup. But we need to find that general forward, so we're going to take a step back. We're going to go down here. We're going to have a little look. See Danaher, not a bad pickup. Um, see Danaher though, a little bit, a little bit aging. General forward Nathan N Brown. I'll take N Brown. I'll get on board with him. Um, now I just have to make this pickup good. We have to. We've got to get the best player still in the draft. A Vince. I reckon it'll be A. Vince or D. Bowen with the mid forward or Johnston. It'll be D. Bowen. Now, I will pick up uh, A. Vince if he's still left in the pool. He is. He's my next pick. Don't have pick for a little while. Uh, we are going to make a big pick this time. 
And we're gonna, oh, there's a lot of rocks. Johnston, I need that general forward. And then I have everything done. As soon as I have a general forward, that's it. I need two more general forwards. There is no general forward. I'm gonna have to go back again. It's gonna be a pity. I mean, look, I can play a mid forward. I can play a mid forward. Johnston. I pick McDonald. I'll pick McDonald. Now. I'm gonna pick. He's a general forward. General forward, see Danaher. Now, again, another pick. We've got a lot of picks here. That general forward, that's a key defender. Uh, Johnston's still in the ruck. It's still in the pool. Uh, there's no general forward here. I could play Leicester, which sounds nice to me. Um. Oh, Hosking. He just picked up my attention. He'll be my next pick. I'm going to look at these guys that are picking up my attention again. Ockenbohr. Ockenbohr. I reckon I could find... Let's just go with the rated this time. Let's have a look at the highest rated player that's actually got reasonable. Ockenbohr P. Lacey. P. Lacey can run through the mid. That, sound, that sounds pretty good to me. That sounds pretty good to me. P. Lacey. Now, there, there was one more player that really did uh, catch my eye. Uh, and his name was... Oh, I think he's out. I think he's gone. I think he's left the draft. No. Surely not. Ah, uh, Anderson, no. No. Where's he gone? Don't tell me I've lost him. Surely I can't have lost him. Can't have. I think it was A. Johnson. In fact, I think it was A. Johnson. But I think I like Ocken... No. I like... Yep. Reinhardt. That was the guy that caught my eye last time. Now that we've still got to get that last general forward, my race... I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on that general forward. Where is that general forward that's going to come back to the Crows? Come on. There's none. Barely any here. General forward, where are you? Can't be picking 70 to 80. Gonna have to go with the mid forward now. Right. Mid. Masters. Can't really play you in the forward line. General forward. Mid forward. K Parker. Pence. Um. K Parker, he's aging, that's a thing. Sheer. In fact, that's actually a pretty good pickup. Sheer. Alright, I'm gonna have to go with that guy that I just saw last time. Uh, he will be coming back to the Crows, whatever his name was, I actually totally forgot what it was. K Parker. That's it. Oh no, we still have, this is our final pick. Uh, we'll just go with like a, a highly rated player here that will actually be decent H Williams could be that player Ellison no T Edwards all right we'll go with the youngest player now in here 17 who's the Bannister that's actually a pretty good pickup yep we'll go with him that is our draft over now got to go through these um amy community series and all that we get our first win up against port adelaide good start for the adelaide crows now again i should probably be making a sponsorship choice uh you know what i'll just let the board again pick it um we get a win over the cats start things off in fine style have the swans we get the win. We get the win. Harry Mackay did a pretty good job in that game. Uh, I don't know why we have the same fixture. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit different now. We've got the lines. We beat the lines. We're going well. We're getting percentage. We're almost top. We've got the highest percentage in the league. Oh, but TIO, we absolutely smashed the demons up there. So this is what a good trade period with a good draft hand does. It makes us unstoppable. We have not been given a loss yet. 
and we continue. We are not going to be given a loss so far. We're going well. Can we beat the Giants? Didn't think so. That's okay. Uh, Carl when we come up against Carlton, though, that'll be a good game. Collingwood haven't gone too well. We only just beat them. Harry Mackay has been really good this season for us. Uh, so, yeah. Optus Stadium. We do beat the Eagles. Good job, Adelaide. Nice work. Do we beat Frio? Yes, we do over in the West. We're doing well. That was two games in the West. In a row. So that's pretty good, if you ask me. Surely we, we beat the Dogs. Surely. Yeah, we do. We do. We're going well. Haven't really seen any of our new recruits except for Harry Mackay. Harry Mackay's come in and he has done beautifully. We win in the showdown. And I was thinking about trading Luke Brown, but lucky I didn't. I didn't trade him, so that's a good thing. We have the Suns and we lose. That's disappointing now. Um, we're on top, 10 and 2. We're going really well. Uh, we beat the Saints. I really don't know how this rebuild's coming out like this. Uh, we have our buy in round 14. Uh, surely we beat the Tigers. Surely. Oh, we get smashed. We've been smashing teams this season. And, well, the Tigers are like, we'll just smash you in return. We'll give you guys a taste of what it's like. Oh, we get a one-point win over the Bombers at home. Nice, nice, nice. Carlton coming up against Harry Mackay. And, well, they smash us. Oh, my gosh. That is annoying. Harry Mackay not to be seen on there. So... Maybe he didn't have a good game against his former team because he might have wanted them to win. Surely we beat the Dockers, yet we do. And I think, yeah, we're in finals now. We're in finals. We cannot fall from here. Surely not. Oh, we might. We might fall. We might miss. We can still miss finals. But I'd be, I'd be more than likely thinking, yeah, finals are a possibility. Yeah, I'm pretty sure one more win, and that's all we need. Oh, the minor premiership has been taken away so far from us. We get a win. We're doing well. We're doing really well. Surely we can beat the dogs. Or oh, we lose by a point. Things are going to get intense. We're still in second. The race to just get in the eighth is heating up. And top four. And where we beat the Ds, we're going to be tough to beat. And we finish first. Got the power in the first week. This will not be easy. I'll tell you that right now. And yet yeah, we lose. No, I didn't. I, I kind of I kind of expected it. Because, uh, yeah, it's tough to beat the power. Surely, though, surely we get over the Eagles. They cannot play well away from home. Yes, we get we get through the Eagles. Can we lead the Crows to a flag? We have the Blues. Again, Harry Mackay has to face his former team again. Oh, we smash it by like 100 and what? 100 and 113 points. Who was man of the match? All Crows. Well done. Adelaide, we're through to a grand final. Woo! Crows v Port. The moment is heating up. Who will win? Crows or Port at the MCG? It's a showdown grand final. Who gets to win? The Crows! Yes! This is the first time a rebuild has resulted in a grand final win. Oh! Oh! oh yes! Yes, yes, yes. That is insane, guys. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well done. Wow, I feel so good about that one. That is amazing. Let's go and have a look at the end of season. We smashed Port. We did it all. Harry Mackay, the Coleman medal. Harry Mackay, our best and fairest. Toby Nan Curvis, the Brownlow medal. I do not know how. David Barclay, the rising star. Woo! We did it, guys. Let me know some more teams I can rebuild down in the comment section. I have a growing list of teams that need to be rebuilt. That need to be re rebuilt. I do hope that you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. So then you guys will be notified when more videos come out. That is going to be it for me now, guys. But yeah, comment down more teams. That's going to be it for me now, guys. We won the premiership. That's the first time. Bye, guys. Fire plays out.